In this video, guys, we're going to look at the stock picking strategy, Dogs of the Dow. Hey, investors and traders, a warm welcome to you. So Dogs of the Dow is a stock picking strategy that's old and it's been going on for a long, long time. I want to talk about how we do it, the criteria for it, how it's performed in the past few years, and some variations of it so you can tweak it and maybe improve on it. So the Dow Jones Industrial Average is built up of 30 stocks, got 30 constituents or components. And what we do on the last day of the year, we select the 10 highest yielding Dow stocks. In other words, the 10 stocks in the Dow 30 that pay the highest dividend yield addressed as a percentage. So once we've got those 10, on the next trading day of the, of the new year, so whatever year that might be, and often it's not going to be the first, it's probably the second, or depending on the weekend, you get the idea. We invest an equal dollar amount into each. So we've got 10 stocks. We've discarded the 20, the 10 highest paying dividend yields. We put a tenth of the allocated portfolio capital. So we've got 100 grand, putting 10 grand to each. Very, very simple. And then at the end of the year, we repeat that process. So at the end of the year, we rebalance. Now, if the stock stays in the dogs for the next year, we have to rebalance the portfolio out. So if we've increased the portfolio to 150 grand, then we still need to rebalance and put 10% into each. Some will drop out, some will come in, and we're still picking the 10 stocks with the highest dividend yield. Okay, so that's relatively easy to do. Let's have a look at some of the performance and how it's related to um, some of the other strategies. You know what, before I look at the performance, I want to talk about some variations because I've got one of the vari variants in the performance table here. So some of the variations are what's called the small dogs. So we do exactly the same thing, but this time we pick out the lowest priced. So we pick the five lowest priced stocks that are in the dogs. So we get the dogs, the 10 highest yielding dividend stocks, and then we pick the lowest price and we have five of those. We do the same thing, we split the investment up into fifths. So that's the small dogs. Another one is Dow 4. So it's the same as the small, but we drop the lowest price. So we just use the bottom five and then drop the very, very cheapest. So we're just left with those four and allocate capital uh, e equally to all those four. The foolish four is the Dow four, the same, sorry, the, the, the Dow four, which is the same uh, as the small dogs, but without that cheapest one. 40% to the lowest, 20% to the other three. So you take your five, you knock off the cheapest one, you put 40% into that lowest one that you've got left, and then 20%, 20%, 20% allocating capital. So it's just exactly the same. You're just diverting more capital to the lowest price one. So what I've got for you is a table here of the dogs, the small dogs, and the Dow 30. I haven't got the foolish four data, but this is a good idea of the sort of things you've got. So this is all percentages here, uh, and I'll read them out because I know my handwriting isn't, isn't the best, guys. Uh, percentages, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, and 2016. So dogs, 9.9%, small dogs, 10.9%, Dow 30, 10.2%. All very similar. The small dogs outperformed just about. Next year, we had a booming year, 2013, dogs, 34.9%. Small dogs, 41.2%, and Dow 30, 29.7%. So that's another win, actually, for the small dogs. Let's put a little tick on the one who's got the winner. Uh, then 2014, 10.8, 14.3, and 10 on the Dow. So another one for the small dogs. Uh, dogs, 2.6, small dogs, 10.3, Dow 0.2. Another one for the small dogs. And then we've got dogs, 20.1, small dogs, 14.1, Dow 30, 16.5. So winner for the dogs, and actually small dogs came last. But you can see, generally speaking, over this very small sample size, I guess if you're interested in this, you want to allocate capital to it, Hopefully the video has spurred you on to do a bit more research and dig out some more finite numbers um, before you decide to allocate any capital. This is kind of what these videos are about, guys. Uh, the small dogs looks interesting, right? It's outperformed quite a lot, the Dow. Um, it'll be interesting to see on some bear markets, perhaps we go back another 10 years or so and see that 2008 period, 2007, maybe even 1999, 2000, to see how it performed then. But it's interesting, you know, it's a very systemized strategy, seems to do quite well, might be worth some uh, future investigation if it's something that sparks your interest. Anyway, guys, stock picking strategies, that's the dogs of the Dow with the small dogs, Dow 4 and Foolish 4 variants in it. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.